good morning guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new it is 8 a.m and we are about to go on a nice morning run thought i'd do a little work vlog work day in my life obviously you guys know i wear many hats i have an online boutique i'm a content creator and then i also do social media management and consulting slash coaching but today we're really focusing in on the social media manager portion because that is the biggest thing happening for me right now so i thought it'd be fun to show you guys what a day in my life has been looking like as of lately i'm pretty excited for my run this morning because i have a whole new outfit adidas was kind enough to gift me a whole outfit and this is perfect because i'm just getting back into running as you guys know and they sent me the this whole fit all for running a new training bra leggings running shoes and a hat so i'm gonna put all this on and i'll show you guys my little head to toe adidas look i am obsessed with this outfit this is so freaking cute and so comfortable the bra is like super adjustable obviously i'm gonna link everything in the description i love how adjustable this bra is though it has like several different ways to adjust it like around here and up here so it's perfect because if you're doing like a low impact workout you could make it a little bit looser but if you're running you can tighten it up which I love and these leggings fit me perfectly they're super comfortable they're like a really thin wet wicking material and they have like little pockets here which I love and of course you guys know I love a good white sneaker these are so cute and they're actually designed for running I mean look at all this like padding on the side you can see it's meant to absorb the shock when you're running right now my only pair of running shoes is my hokas so now I have another pair of shoes for running oh and lastly we can't forget about my hat very cute I put my ponytail through the little space in the back of course here's a better look at the hat i love this this is so cute shout out to adidas for the outfit i'm obsessed i will link it all in the description now let's go get our run on just got to the park i've been coming over here and running because it's just a nice scenic route compared to running around in the neighborhood i have my spy belt to hold all my stuff and i've been just taking my key off of my key ring can just put this in there i started off the week like 11 12 minute mile and then by the end of the week i finally got an under 10 minute mile so my goal is to do that again just the first mile then i usually do another mile and a half at least within 30 minutes just made my coffee and I'm about to jump on this client call normally I would have a little bit of a slower morning but I got a later start going for my run and it took me a little longer to get ready this morning I don't know sometimes I just move slow so I gotta jump on this call and then we'll do like my normal morning stuff for social media management which is like checking my email client account management and like that stuff <music> So one of my clients is a local pet shop and this is kind of what the area looks like for the month. I actually onboarded this client with Airtable instead of the rest of my clients who I've been using ClickUp for because I actually like Airtable a little bit more for this type of stuff. It is just so much easier to do the approval process, to put everything in and to group things based on the week because I have so many posts that you know I have to do for these clients based on the week. Some of my clients' packages call for like three videos, others I'm only doing two videos per week and then a couple of carousels and things like that. So this kind of helps organize everything. I've added in important dates, a task board, and a content creation tab for my local clients because I will go on site and get content that I need. A little bit later now and I just got to my dermatologist. I went to the dermatologist like a few months back just for like a routine, you know, full body check. And they told me that they offer tattoo removal, which I didn't know. So I signed up for an appointment and that appointment has come. As you guys know, a few years back, actually, I wanna say, actually, has it really been two years? Oh my gosh, it's been a while, but I was undergoing tattoo removal for my tattoo, which is right here. And I had so many treatments spread out over the course of over a year, like, or close to a year, if not over a year. And 
ultimately it got to the point where like I wasn't getting results anymore so I stopped having that treatment done because the place I was going to only offered one type of laser treatment um, and they recommended me to go somewhere else but I just ended up being busy with other things and I never got back to it but it's something that I had been wanting to get back to so I'm pretty pumped that they offer tattoo removal here. I'm back home now and I just have to say that was the easiest experience ever after having gotten so many treatments done in the past even though I would get numbed like it was always still really painful this time I didn't feel anything this looks gross but I mean like I didn't feel anything the entire time the only reason I knew that it was happening was because of the sound of the laser machine which if you've ever heard a laser machine it like makes these quick little like noises and you can hear that when it's sapping the skin but like I didn't feel anything and it would usually like be burning and swollen after it's like slightly swollen but i would have to like ice it to like help with the burning and i don't feel anything so they did an excellent job numbing me and i'm so glad about that hopefully i get some results this time but i just grabbed this tool bag out of the garage because i want to hang up my whiteboard next to my desk and chad's working so we're gonna do it ourselves I can't remember how to use this and I used to know how to use it. Something like this and then you like tighten it. There we go. Now I gotta pick a drill bit oh, that matches. Oh, but it doesn't fit in there. This one maybe? No. Wait, I don't think I need this thing. I can just put this in here. Right? Is that allowed? I don't even know. None of these fit. This one, oh, this one fits. Why is this thing not tightening now? Oh, there's a little diagram. Well, I'm not sure which one of these it is. Is it a hammer, a screw, or a nail? What do these numbers mean? There we go. That'll work. As long as this thing spins, we're good. All right, that'll work. We're gonna make it work. Chad would be proud of me. I brought the stud finder. So you wanna, you want it to be, that means it's a stud or? Okay, when it sounds, it's a stud. Heating up my pan and a pot with some water, about to make some dinner. I'm making this super easy chicken pasta salad and I'll show you guys how to make it. First thing we gotta do is chop up this onion. Next you're gonna take about a cup, I guess, of cherry tomatoes. I don't know, I just did like half the pack and cut them in half and just add them in with the bowl of chopped onions. Cooking the rotini noodles now and then for the chicken, um, you just get like plain chicken breasts. And then I put some avocado oil in there and then lemon pepper seasoning but you can really use whatever seasoning you want this is one of those recipes that's like it's not really a recipe you can kind of just do whatever you want as long as you have all the key ingredients like seasoning and dressing and things like that are kind of up to you okay for the dressing you're actually supposed to use white wine vinegar technically but I don't have any so we're gonna use this balsamic vinegar which I've also used before and it tastes fine it's our base 
Then one fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and then a little bit of basil. If you have fresh basil, it's actually better, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna use some uh, dried basil. And then you can add salt and pepper to this, but I'm just gonna add it on top. Give this a good stir. Chicken is done. Now we're just gonna cut up the chicken into little bite-sized chunks. And I'm gonna add the chicken, tomatoes, onion, and everything to the noodles, except for the avocado, because I want that on top. Adding some salt and pepper now. Then drizzle your dressing over the whole thing. And oh yeah, make sure you put it in a container that has a lid, because we're gonna shake this up. And of course, don't forget your avocado. And that is it, guys. Mm -hmm.